Hey guys, uh, those of you who were not watching me on Instagram, I decided to do a look featuring two palettes. I'm actually doing this eye with the Zulu um, palette by Juvia's Place. And then I am, look at the colors, so pretty. And then I'm actually doing this eye with the Morphe, I think what, call, what palette is, Morphe 35B palette. Show this one. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and continue. Alright, so the first color I used was the yellow, obviously, on both, and then I went over it with the orange color and then the pink, and then on the corners, kind of corners of my eye, I went in with the purple. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the underneath my eye. No, I'm gonna do the cut crease. I'm gonna do the cut crease first. Let's see what I got. <laughs> All my brushes. I to find the correct brush to use. All right, this is the concealer seven forty five Sigma, and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the um, Maybelline. Fair concealer. That's the color I'm going to go ahead and use to make the crease. I'm doing a, what do you call it? I'm going to do a, can't think of words, a halo crease. Just dip that in there. Okay. Hey, Courtney. What's up? How you doing? We doing halos over here right so I'm just gonna go ahead like that open my eye it goes where it needs to and blend make kind of a halo right here hi how are you how you doing and then blend it down I'm like focusing so I'm not talking, that's okay. Okay. I'm actually really not used to using this brush to do this, but I have seen like a lot of people do it, so I'm like, oh I'll try it out. Maybe not the best time to try it out. <laughs> Cause it's kinda funky. Let's see. I'm gonna take the brush that I was using, it's a flat brush, to blend it out more. Blend the purple in. Hmm. Hey Heather, it's a long time no see. How have you been? See. Hey Jackie. I'm gonna let's see. Alright, it looks okay. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye. I'm actually doing a comparison video comparing the Zulu um the Juvia's Place Zulu palette and then the Morphe 35B palette. So this side is Zulu, this side is Morphe. In my opinion, personally, so far, Zulu's winning. I feel like the colors are just bolder. I think that they look better, personally. That's just me. I actually started this video on Instagram, and then I was like, nah, I'm good. Left and came over here. See you guys. Slap. <laughs> All right. Going again with this. This is really cool to watch. Yay, I'm glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> so how, how's your Saturday? What you doing? What you up to? Okay, take that. Then open my eye, cause you know, I got some hooded eyes. Gotta see how high it goes. Then blend it out.
I'll just go ahead and take this purple again and blending working as always. That's always not very fun, but hey, you gotta make that dough, <laughs> make that paper. Oh, I get it. That's why I was so happy when I got weekends off. Oh my gosh, I'm like, this is everything. I love having weekends off. Like, I don't know if I can go back. I mean, I still like technically work on weekends whenever I have clients and stuff, but other than that, like, I really don't. Unless I'm like trying to make more money. <laughs> And working overtime but hey why do I want to work overtime whenever I went part-time <laughs> okay they look different <laughs> all right let me try and find my brush that I normally use because I feel like I don't have as much control over this brush because it's kind of huge maybe it's just me I normally when I do them normally go in with this brush this is the brush that I usually use it is the small angled e65 brush also from Sigma this is the brush that I usually use so yeah whenever you go in let me compare these just so you guys can see oh yeah that's a difference <laughs> this brush to this brush I definitely have more control whenever I use this one versus this one so let me just try and fix this side with this and see what I can do uh, jealous don't be jealous I mean we're gonna get there <laughs> Especially with, it depends on what you do, you know? Call centers, like, they always, people are always calling. It doesn't really matter, like, when you're working. It's actually pretty funny because the slowest days we have are Saturdays. Those are the slowest days at the call center. All right, let's see. See, I just feel like I already, I just have so much more control over this brush. I don't know why I didn't go in the, with this one originally. Because I'm silly and I want to try something new. Hello. Let's see. I think you listen to a video in the background. What's up? I'm right beside my computer. See me more upstairs. Okay. Right. I'm trying to blend that in. Yeah. Or out? Is it blended out really? And not really. Okay. Halo thing is cool. Thank you. I really do like halos. Oh my gosh. It took me forever to actually try and like try them and then even like then I'm st I still struggle with them. I think halos are so pretty though. They're just oh, they're gorgeous. It's a type of cut crease basically. Cut some like I've seen a lot of like really pretty cut creases in my time. <laughs> I've been around for so long but the halo is just it looks glowy right and I think that that's like I feel like a part of it of course I'm gonna take away or add from that glow I'm not quite sure yet because uh, I went too high it's okay I'll fix it. okay mm, let me go ahead and go in with this little flat brush and try and fix this part. So you said you're using two different palettes? Yes, I am. Um, this side, I am using the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And then on this side, I'm using the Morphe 35B palette. I'm using them because they are so similar and I need to compare them. I've been wanting to do it for a while. I just haven't. So I'm glad that I'm finally doing it. So let me go ahead and go in with this pink again. This pink color right here. And go right here. There we go. Huh. Yas. Yas. That's pretty. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing with the other eye. But I'm going to go in with a different color. I'm going to go in with this pink 
right here. I know it looks brighter, but they're pretty much the same color, which is funny because like I swatched it and I thought that this one was going to be more so the same, but it's not. It's this one. So that's what I'm going in with. So we got to tap out that excess. Okay. Over that little halo. There we go. I didn't really need much fixing, so it doesn't look much different than it did before. Um, yeah, so I'm using the two palettes again because they're so similar. Obviously, as you can see, these are two completely different palettes, but I'm doing like a very similar, pretty much the same look. So the Morphe 35B palette actually came out before the Zulu palette did. But they weren't like advertised as like, oh, this is like a dupe. They're basically like the same price, which is actually funny. I don't remember. The 35B palette, I think I got for like 15 or $20. I don't remember. This one I got for like 11 though. And look how beautiful it is. Like it is so gorgeous. These panels are huge. Hey, Jackie. Thanks for joining the live. These panels are just ginormous. In comparison with this palette, yes, this palette has like a million more colors. It has like, you know, the blues and like it has a few shimmers in there as well. It has like a, a shiny yellow. I think it's this one is the shiny yellow. And it has like a lot more shimmers. This only has two shimmers, but like look at one pan compared to the other. The, the yellows, for example. <laughs> Saw Edward. <laughs> it's huge, but it has a lot of very similar colors. So Ed says, hey, hey Ed, if you hadn't said you were using two different palettes, I wouldn't have known them to be honest. I know, right? Like you can hardly tell the difference. You can't really, which is good. I mean, they're both really good palettes, but this is actually the Juvia's Place is a black owned company and oh my gosh, the pigment obviously in these. If I started originally like doing this video on Instagram. And I was like already talking about kind of complaining about how this has so much more pigment than this one does. I have to go in like several times in order to get the amount of color, which I think y'all are going to be able to see whenever I do the bottom part because um, I'm kind of almost done with the top a little bit. I'm not sure what color I want to do in the middle. I need to do a color that's on both of these palettes and I'm not sure which color to go in with. Mm. Or am I just do the same color? I'm just like thinking now. Hmm, silently thinking. Which color should I go in with? Um, this these greens are kind of attracting me, but I don't know. So I'm gonna swatch them and see how they look. So this is the Zulu Zulu's um, place. So that's just some other colors. Swatch that right there. That's like the green shimmery color. Just one swatch, I don't really mind how that looks. And then this is the Morphe's greenish shimmer color. That one, right by it. They're kind of different. No, they're pretty similar actually. I think I'm gonna go in with the greens. I'll go in with the greens, the greens kind of in the middle. This is going to be a very colorful look. It might not go all the way, all, all that well together, but it's fine. I'm really just doing it to show y'all the difference in the colors. So, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Sephora Pro Small Shadow number 15. And I'm going to actually spray this brush before I use it. Because it helps the color just a lot more. A lot better. All right, get that in there. It's nice and wet. Go in with this green color. Did you see, did you use Zulu on me um, for your show? I didn't, actually. The reason I didn't, I actually used the Morphe one on you because um, it the greens, it doesn't have like that color right there is kind of it's more like a like a teal blue color so that's why I didn't use it on you it's funny because I really wanted to use it on you but I did it <laughs> I used the Morphe 35 one because it has more like options for greens 
That's how that green looks. It's pretty. Oh, okay. We see you. It's popping. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. So you get it. You get it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it really is. Okay, and then um let's see. I'm trying to think what is this? Yes, so yeah, I did. I used like this green, kind of like this entire row is what I used on you whenever I did the look. Trying to blend it in more. I might have to take the purple and like add it. I think I am gonna do that now actually. I'm gonna go back in with this. Actually, I'm gonna go in with the pink, the pink color. Thank you, I do think it's a cool combo too actually. Hey Allison, thanks for joining the live. I'm doing a comparison of palettes. On this side, I have the Zulu, and then on this side, I have the 35B Morphe palette. This palette is from Juvia's Place, which also they are having like a 40% off sale, I believe, today. Just an FYI. I don't even know what I did. I like completely erased it. It looks gorgeous already. Thank you. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that pink color. Uh, actually, no. I first I need to add the green. I forgot about that. I'm gonna go in and go top. There we go. So it's like more blended in with each other. Cool, cool. And I'm gonna add some more spray to this one and then go in with the green on the other palette. It is a little bit darker, just letting you know so it will look kind of different whenever I use the green on the Morphe palette. See, it actually, it really doesn't look that different. I'm getting tropical sunset feels. You're right. <laughs> That's so funny. Like, whenever I swatched it, it looked, like, so much darker. But putting it on here, it really doesn't look all that different than the green on the other side. That's pretty funny. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and go in with this pink on the Morphe palette. Talk about excess. Blend that in. Hey babe, thanks for joining the live. <laughs> and so this is the pink that I'm going in with the again so from the Morphe palette. Okay, and then go back in with some green. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. <laughs> yeah. Cool, cool, cool. It is kind of like a really like a tropical feel. Low network connection. Fun. Connection available. Back. No, nope, low network. Don't know what's happening with that. 
Hey, Leslie. Thanks for joining the live. Okay, so now I'm debating, like, putting on, like, trying to put on foundation or something, or actually, I actually think I'm just going to go in with the bottom. So for the bottom color, I'm going to do this really, really pretty, like, teal color right there. It's so gorgeous. Hello, bless you, Edward. <laughs> Courtney said bless you. Okay, and I'm going to go you. ahead and use... Where is it? I just had it. Which brush should I use? Um, I'm debating between these two. I'm probably going to use both. Just to switch eyes. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go in with my white eyeliner. Any time you use, like, white eyeliner, it really, like, makes your look pop. Pretty much no matter what you're doing. Pop. <laughs> it really did bring some life to that. That's so intense. It's okay, we're going to blend it out once we put the other color underneath it. going with this one. Press that into. It's a lot of fallout. Right? I know. It's like so bold. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. All of that fallout though. That's like super intense. It's so much fallout. I'm like I should have tapped it out more. That's okay. It's okay. That is really pretty though. I do like that a lot. No, I have like all this color everywhere, but it's okay. We got some napkins. You can just take it off. It's okay. I'm going to have to wipe my face off. <laughs> it's, um, YouTube channel. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go in again with it some more. <laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. I'm like trying to think what else, if I wanna add like another color right here, but I think I'm good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, let's see, the closest color to that one I think is going to be this one right here. So I'm gonna take this brush and just go in with that one. And just see how this looks. It's not as bright and bold as the other one is. I'm using a different brush, but I think that that's just either way. It's not as bright as this side. You can tell just even in the palette, but I mean, again, they're not the same color. They're not meant to be the same color. It's just the closest one I could find to this color. So it's still really, like really, really similar. Yeah. 
Yeah. See? I mean, it still does it. Like, it still does the job. Even though it's it's a little bit different. Like, honestly, like like you said, Courtney, if you were just watching my video, you would have no idea that these two palettes are totally different. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Okay, now that I have that, I am going to put on some lashes. That's mascara first, though. Now I see the difference in, in those tills. But they're still super nice, right? No, I agree. Like, you can see, like, there's this one's obviously more vibrant. Like, it's just a brighter color. Let me do them side by side. So, it's that color and that one. Like, I think you could even see it, even it just in the palette alone. It just, this one already looks dull, duller. But it's still, like, for what it is, like, on the street, like, people would hardly notice. This eye just looks brighter than this eye does. The under underneath just looks brighter. But see how that white just really makes it like it pops so much. Can you call JP? Sorry guys, I gotta call my man. And no, I'm not going to just leave my natural lashes because my natural lashes are like hilarious. They're tiny <laughs> and they're not, they're not great. <laughs> That's okay. That's why we wear fake lashes. Okay, so let's see. I think I would, these are the ones I was wearing today, but I don't know if I want to go in with these ones. No, I should. They look pretty. They're spiky. I like that. All right, so do y'all think I should add glitter? I kind of, like, shimmers were never really my thing, personally. I've never been, like, a fan of shimmers. I'm always, like, I need glitter. And this little, like, middle part to me just isn't doing it. Like, it's not doing it enough justice. I feel like I need to add glitter to them. But I don't know. Tell me what you think. Because I am going to go in with something else now, however. Mm -hmm. There we go, that adds some boldness to it. This is the NYX just white eyeliner. I need to buy more. It's pretty much dry though. It's this. Ah, I messed up on the side. Huh? Oh, it's all chunky. That's okay. So which one is better so far? They both look good. I can't tell. <laughs> no, I feel like, I honestly feel the same way. Like originally, like starting off, I was like this side, all this side, Zulu. Now I can't really tell the difference. Like they look so similar. It's kind of crazy. But I personally, I have, I don't have as much trouble with, the Zulu palette. Zulu palette to me, it, you still get a lot of fallout. It's the same thing with the other side. It's like kind of like you get fallout anywhere you go, right? But at the same time, like, I just feel like you don't have to deal, you don't have to like press in the powder as much. You don't have to like dig in and get the color in order for it to go on. Like, Zulu personally to me I feel like just goes on so much easier it the I think it just looks so much better that's a personal opinion but it's my opinion doesn't mean it's right it just means it's mine it just means it's mine so I think I'm gonna go in with um this on my eye so that green was fun but it's not bold enough for me 
So I'm just gonna go in with this. It's really, really pretty. I'm not bold enough to mix bright colors. <laughs> a lot of people I feel like are really scared to do that. And I'll be honest, I was the same way. Like it took me forever to even try like bright colors on my eyes. I was like, no, thank you. Like that's a no go for me. Y'all have fun with that, but that's not me. And then like I did and I was like, I fell in love. And I was like, I was missing out on this all my life. Like it's insane. It's insane what you, what you actually miss out on whenever you're afraid to try stuff. But I think everyone should. Everyone should try bright colors because I think they're so much fun. And yeah, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And that's okay. At least you tried it though. And you know that you don't like it. And sometimes the thing to me also is that like people try it. But it's also like if you don't know how to do it right, it's not going to look good at all. Like if, if you don't know how to do it correctly, period. Like, that's just, like, how it is. So, that's what I did. Yes, I'm going to have to try it out more. Yes, you should. I think everyone should. Maybe not, like, this to this extent. This is pretty crazy. I The only reason I mixed all these, like, super bright colors together was to show y'all all of the colors. Well, not all, not all the colors, but mostly all of the colors. The only colors I didn't show y'all on this palette are this brown and this one right here. But that's because the Morphe palette doesn't have any colors to match it. So I wanted to show you all the colors, all the other colors that are the same in the Morphe palette. That are at least are like super, super similar. Anyway, so I decided to go in with this rose gold. It covers the green, but that's okay. It's brighter and it's prettier and I like it. This is the Tarte Tartiest Pro Glitter Liner. It comes with two sides. It's so pretty. It has this metallic side, which is the side that I'm, I'm using to do that part. Let me just swatch it. Oh, it's so pretty. It is gorgeous. I can see that. Then I'll swatch the glitter side for you too. I also have like silver and gold, but this is the rose gold color. This is the glitter side. Yeah, so the glitter's being kind of funky. I think I'm gonna put some glitter on top too, actually. I'll use this glitter on top of it also. There we go. Even, it pops even more now. But yeah, honestly, like normally I wouldn't even Dang. put all these colors together, but I was just like, I need to do a look and have all of these colors together. That way I can show y'all how they look in comparison to each other. And again, palettes, totally, totally different. Okay, now that I have that on, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my lashes. Because lashes are everything and they just make the look. Uh, first, got to find my glue dough. Where's my glue? It is here somewhere. Yes, glitter. I know. I love glitter. So that's it, like, close up. Not looking its fullest because I know the quality isn't that great. But it does look really pretty, you guys. I'm going to take pictures, some selfies, and post them so y'all can actually see it with the full quality. It'll be different. <laughs> like, it's crazy how much quality can make a difference. Okay, found some glue. Get these babies on. And then I also know a lot of people who like don't wear fake eyelashes. And like I used to not, obviously, like no one just starts off. Well, actually, some people do. They just start off right off the back wearing fake eyelashes. I used to not either. And then I forgot. I don't know what happened. I think it was just one day. Like I, oh, I remember. It was my birthday. It was my 22nd birthday and I went, I wanted to do my makeup and I wanted to do a cut crease. So I did my first cut crease on my birthday, my 22nd birthday. And then I was like, I went to, what is it called? I went to um, Sephora and I bought lashes cause I was like, I want to do lashes so badly. So I bought some and I did lashes. And then ever since then, I pretty much wore lashes every makeup look. After that, after my 22nd birthday, I wear lashes pretty much every makeup look. I do because it just enhances the entire thing. Like, it just makes it look so much better than these. Like, I don't have... Some people are lucky and some people are blessed and have, like, gorgeous lashes from the start. I'm not one of those people. That's okay. I'm okay with that. That's why we have these fake lashes. They're so pretty. Okay. Let's 
stick these babies on. Yeah. And lashes, boom. Dude, see, lashes just make the hugest difference. Like, look at this. You're like, oh, cool. Like, the eyeshadow is pretty, right? But the entire eye, no, it's not pretty. Boom. Gorgeous. It makes everything. Lashes just make the hugest difference. You cannot tell me that they don't. Because they do. Like, look at this. Look at that difference. That's crazy. I'm also going to put some mascara on the bottom. I just haven't done it yet. <laughs> So, see my naked mole red eye versus glamorous beauty eye right here? It's because of lashes. I need to buy more glue. My glue is like all ugly now. Hey, Bailey, Barker, sup? Thanks for joining my live. Putting some lashes like really dig into my glue to even get anything out because it's so dry that's how you know you need more glue I go through lash glue like lash glue like pretty crazy These are, lashes are actually really thick, so my eyes and exactly, my natural lashes aren't really molding with them like they should be, but that's okay. Hey, Lavina. What's up? How you doing? Just doing a crazy bold look right now. Okay. And also showing off no lashes versus, versus <laughs> lashes definitely makes a huge difference. Hey, beautiful. I'm like, all right, go on there. Oh my God. Really? That is Edward playing a game where I don't even know what he's doing now. <laughs> Boom. So Lashes make the hugest, hugest difference. Oh my gosh. So they look so awesome with lashes. So That's funny. Like, I originally started this look and was like, um, it's probably going to look super crazy. But now that I have it, I'm like, oh, it's not that bad. Like, I'm okay. I'm cool with this. Like, who's she? What's she doing with her life? <laughs> I don't even have like any foundation on. <laughs> it's sad. That's okay. Um, I have to get rid of this fallout that I have. Where's my makeup remover? Oh, there it is. I'm about to rock this look for the office. Yes. Do it. <laughs> Craziness going in there like, yes, I'm better than all of you. <laughs> As you walk by. <laughs> get rid of all this fallout before I throw on some foundation because we don't need that we do not need that in our life whispers that nothing you do ever looks crazy oh <laughs> thank you I really felt like it was going to though like I really like I actually had I, I had this look in my mind and I was like I'm gonna have to do I was like where else can I do that blue I'm like that blue is just gonna have to go on the bottom like 
there's really no other place for it to be. It's gonna have to go on the bottom and it's gonna have to like it. <laughs> like it or not, you're gonna be on the bottom. And that's what I was like really concerned about. I was really, uh, like the eye, like the top eye, I was like, that's gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure that'll be okay. Like all the colors, like purple, pink, yellow, orange. I'm like, yeah, that works together. But the bottom, I was like, oh goodness. I don't know how this is gonna look. But I like it a lot. Hey, while you're here, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. <laughs> Makeover Melanie, Instagram. Because <laughs> I totally put that comment there. That wasn't someone who I just hired to do it. <laughs> also, YouTube videos coming soon. I said that? Cool, I guess I said that. YouTube videos coming soon. <laughs> okay, where's my foundation? Ah. I have this and my foundation is right there you know a normal person right now would go in with primer but I'm not going anywhere today so I'm not going to I'm just gonna use my foundation my $50 foundation because I have to do a full look and you'll have to have the full experience it's not the same whenever it's just my eyes it's not the same at all Oh, I can't do what I normally do. Normally, I don't have nails on. These beautiful nails right here, I don't have on normally. So, I take my finger, nailless and all, and I scoop the makeup on the inside, and I dot it all over my face. And it's great, because it's literally the perfect amount. And I don't feel like I'm wasting, because I'm just using what's in this lid. But, I have these beautiful nails. I am very thankful for them. But I'm like, what do I do now? I'm excited for your vids. I want to be fab. I want to be fab with my makeup like you. Thank you. I need to do vids. Hey, Thoi Ram. Happy belated birthday. Theo Ram. Got it. Took a little while. Sorry. <laughs> I want to do videos. I just have a problem with the actual doing them part. Makes it a little bit difficult. Oh, look at that. I'm a genius on the go. I decided to use the end of this foundation brush and scoop on the inside, and it's working. <laughs> we scoop in more, and we dot it on our face because freckles are natural things. And we do not want to look natural. That is not why we wear makeup. Love when people say that. You know, oh, I want a natural look. Why? That's not why we wear makeup. We don't wear makeup to look natural. We make it to look like someone else. We want to look like a completely different person when we're done. I'm sure you've seen that video of that girl. She's hilarious. I think she's like, the men will find out that we contour and they will be, no, we contour and then the men will be bewitched <laughs> and they will give us their wallets. <laughs> that video is hilarious. The girl's really funny. I don't remember her name, but she's really funny. It takes a little bit longer to do than, you know, just sticking my finger in there, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> I'm using my Morphe Beauty Blender to blend it out. It's not wet right now, so it's kind of having a hard time, but that's okay. Yes, that is what she said. I should probably spray it. I feel like that's the thing that I should do. I'm going to spray it now. With this fix. I'm just, you know, waste a bunch on here. Why not? Okay. And now for concealer. Yay. Where is my concealer? I lost it. Oh, there it is. Found it. Okay. So, yes, I want to do YouTube videos, 
but they are scary and they're hard and they're a lot of work. So that is why I have not done YouTube videos, even though I have Edward and he's really great and very helpful and makes things somehow more scary. But even though that I haven't done them yet. Oh, there we go. That feels a lot better. Oh, by the way, guys, I like pretty much recommend you don't do your under eye before you do your concealer. But I was just kind of going with it. So I did. That's okay. By under eye, I mean under eye shadow. I normally don't recommend that you do that before your concealer. What I do, I do my like full top, like this part. I do the full like top of my eye. And then I do like my foundation, my concealer, all that fun stuff. And then I do like my under eye area. But I was just like really ready to show y'all how it looked. So I decided to forget what I normally do. I'm going to do something new. And that's what I did. So, we also put some concealer right under our cheekbone to trick people. Looks more highlighted, makes your contour go in deeper, even though you have no court, no contour on yet. Dab, 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 dab. Tiny punches to the face. I had a friend tell me that one time. The first time I did her makeup, and I was, you know, doing her under eye, taking, you know, a little sponge beauty blender, and doing it right here. She's like, I feel like you're attacking my face. Your tiny punches are attacking my face. And it was hilarious. Dinner time. The video has been shared. Thank you. See you next time. And don't be scared. It's actually better on YouTube because you can edit them. That is very true. Thank you for joining. Have fun at dinner. I will post pictures as the final look. And it will be pretty. Dab, 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 dab. Tiny punches to the face. Okay. Done. Right. I'm not really fully done. Just like done doing that part. I tricked you. I lied. I'm not done. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Neutral Set Colorless Powder from Ben Eye. So far, this is my favorite one. I use a lot of setting powders, but this one I think is just amazing. So I've been using it. My hubby got it for me and it's awesome. I really like it. Gonna press that into my face. I actually normally use brushes to press in my powder into my face, but lately, since I got this one, like a week ago, I've been using it to, I've been using it with the beauty blender, which I've actually seen like a lot of people do, I just never did, but because of the way this, um, the way it's set up, I don't like, the lid is so tiny, look how tiny this lid is, and I can't really like fit it in there, you know what I mean? So it doesn't really work like that so I don't um, instead I just like pour it on here cool cool and then I stick it to my face yeah and I blend it in there like so pores what are those we don't have pores here and basically this just like sets your whole look which is fun and good. Okay, now that I do that, contour time. Oh, that's what it was. That's what she says. Um, I think she says she's like, I may be poor, but I'm not too poor to contour. It's genius. <laughs> I think that's hilarious. Okay, I'm actually gonna go with my mascara and then I'm gonna go with contour because it's kind of annoying me that there's no mascara on the bottom lashes. And for me, it's kind of a must. There we go. 
Oh, so, so much better. So much better with the lashes on the bottom. I already have lashes on the bottom. Luckily, these ones are actually long enough for me to put mascara on. Anyone else notice that? Your like top eyelashes like are barely there, but your bottom eyelashes are just so, so super long for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. Okay, mm, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Anastasia Contour Palette because it's like the best and I've had it for like such a long time, at least two years. <laughs> And it's the only thing that I've been using to contour since then. It's really great. I'm going to go in with this middle color right here. Don't know what it's called. I pretty much use all three of these colors on the bottom, though. I don't even touch the top colors, but that's okay. All right, and then from your ear down, and we blend. Close, you can see and same thing with the other side about here blend I'm going with the other two colors that I showed y'all that were on the side blend 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 that is what we do we blend this orange one now this color all right so you can see these colors right this one is more like a gray color kind of casting like a shadow we want to believe that it's real again we will be witch men and they will give us their wallets this is why we do this and then we go in with this color which has a little bit more of a color to it it's less gray but it still has a gray undertone and then we go in with this brown one right here just straight up brown has some orange undertones but that's okay because this is going to be our like bronzer part of it and this one goes slightly above onto our cheeks and up into our foreheads we want to make it non-existent forehead what okay and then we do that cool cool fun fun same with this again can't really see the side it's like blinding for some reason it's really white when I do it I don't know I'm trying to get to where y'all can see it there we go you can finally see it into our temple and onto our forehead I like to take some and just also go along my nose too. That's funny. So if it's, so if I have this right here, you can see my face. That's interesting. But if I don't, white just goes straight to me. Hmm, interesting. Okay. And now we're going to add some blush. Because what is a look without blush? It is nothing. Okay. Um, I think I'm actually going to use this pink one. It looks like super bright. And again, the way it looks on my eyes is super bright. But I'm going to like just dab it in ever so softly. And that's it. Maybe a little more. Tap it out. So now another way to make sure you don't just have all this pink on your face when you do it tap it on your hand see boom now that original pink that was going to be on your face isn't it's on your hand that way we can go in smile apples or cheeks all the way down I don't know how close I need to get to this. You can see it. 
I'm like, alright, that's a little bold. That's a little much, but it's okay. And now for highlight. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with, again, the MAC Prep and Prime. That way I can go in with the highlight. But having my face wet also will make the highlight stay more. Okay. Mm, all right. You know, just drown, drench your face. You did not do all that work to have it melt away and be nothing. You want it to stay. All right, and I'm gonna go, in. can you call him please? Go in with this large fluff E50 brush and go in with the Starburst color. Edward. Yeah. Can you call JP, please? Sorry, guys. <laughs> Just go up and along for that beautiful highlight. We want to glow. some on our nose and then I'm gonna go in with the marshmallow color which is like the white one and put that on my cupid's bow it just makes it more prevalent and pop Okay. Mm, now for a lip color. I'm still not quite sure what lip color I want to do. I'm gonna go with the gloss. I'm gonna go with the gloss. I never do, so I am. Mm -hmm. oh, just move the camera. It's okay. Okay, um, let's see what options we have. Mm. Mm. Hmm. I think. Dang it. I think gloss I want to wear is actually in my purse. Of course, my purse is not right next to me. <laughs> hmm. No, I want to wear this one, I lied. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is go in with this lip paint, Tartiest lip paint, and then I'm gonna go over it with this Tartiest lip gloss. That's so funny, they're the same brand. Huh, that was not intentional. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna apply this first and then go over it. I honestly haven't used this in so long, I don't remember how this looks at all. Okay, I see that. It kind of smells minty. It smells pretty though. I like it. Sorry, my lips are pretty chapped. Sorry about that. Okay. 
And so if you ever want to like put your lip gloss on your lipstick and you don't want to mess up the swatch that it comes with, you could also just use like a little spoolie thingy. Just dip that in. That way you're not messing it up. Let me dip it in more. <laughs> I'm going to need more than that. There we go. Okay, so now that I have that matte lip color on, I'm going to go ahead and go over it with this lip gloss and just see how it looks. that's a look <laughs> I don't think I'm a fan of it um, personally I'm not a fan of like the whole my lips are the color of my skin personally not really into that they kind of melt into my skin it's interesting I think if, if I go with a lip liner it might help <laughs> let's try that um I mean, from like a distance, it's not too bad, I guess. I just need something there to differentiate my lips and my skin. I can't do it just as it is. Well, that helps. Now I kind of look like a chola. <laughs> That's not exactly what I was going for. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to start over because this looks funny. Yeah, let's just go ahead and start. Oh my gosh, I made that way too bold. <laughs> yeah, that's not that's not happening today. And that's what I get. I was trying to go for it. I was trying to go for the gloss. I was like, all right, the gloss is gonna work. I was wrong. It didn't work. <laughs> mm, but see, your skin is probably looks really good whenever they're the, they're the same like nude lips for some reason on me just look like ash they just look like i'm ashy and i'm like i don't want that i don't like that <laughs> mm. and i've seen it to where it looks really pretty it just doesn't on me for some reason and i think i mean i already personally prefer bold lips like I like really bold lips that stand out so that might be why I'm just gonna dab some concealer on here take away from the redness <laughs> I tried I tried I was like this look you know what this lip this look is so bold it can have a nude lip and it'll look fine and I couldn't do it I couldn't do it I'm sorry guys I tried I really did <laughs> mm. I'm gonna go with this color this color doesn't go with anything that I'm wearing but it's fine <laughs>
looks like a pumpkin. <laughs> this color looks like a pumpkin. That's funny. I just damn near killed myself. Yeah, that's no bueno. I like it though. I could still like have it more. I don't know. I think I'm okay. I'm still like I'd rather have this color on my lips than have that like ash gloss color because it just wasn't. I think it's just not me. Like you have to be the person who just like really does like to have just lip gloss and it go with your skin. <laughs> it looks good. I feel like it just doesn't look good on me. I might put some lip gloss over it though once it dries. I think that would be pretty. Or should I keep it matte? <laughs> what do you think? Matte or lip gloss? That's the lip. I like that color on you. Thank you. This is also a color that I got from my boxy charm. Was it this month or last month? Last, no, this month. Is this month? Gloss. Gloss, right? Okay, I'm gonna put some gloss and then gloss would look what good. What the heck? Hmm. <sighs> hmm. I'm debating on what gloss to use. This is like a clear iridescent kind of gloss, so I'm gonna go with this one actually instead. Again, spooly. I mean, but also in general, like I'm not a gloss person. Like I am like I do prefer matte lipstick, period. So I'm trying to get into gloss. That's something that I'm not really used to doing. That's also probably why I was like, no. <laughs> Oh, that lip gloss is pretty. Yes. I think I'm okay with that. Yes. You're right. Thank you, Lavina. I like the gloss. It's just for me, I think a gloss is just something that I have to get used to. I'm not I'm just not used to it in general. Like I'm not used to my lips shining. <laughs> like that's like crazy to me to have my lips just be that shiny. Shiny, 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 yeah. I don't know. That's a song, right? I think it is. <laughs> That is pretty. I like that. Oh gosh, it's tingling. I forgot. This clear lip gloss that I have is um. Oh, it's tingling. It is Lip Injections Too Faced. It's like the only clear lip gloss that I have, which is pretty funny. I need to buy just some plain lip gloss, some plain clear lip gloss, that way I can use it without my lips burning. It's supposed to like tingle your lips to make them like plumper. Oh my gosh, some people don't feel it. I put it on like two people, not like three people, and they're like, I don't feel anything. I'm like, oh, that's good for you. Because <laughs> whenever I put it on, I feel it. Like, I really feel the tingles. It'll only last for a few minutes, but it's still kind of annoying. <laughs> All right, guys, that's pretty much it from my live. I'm pretty much done. What y'all think? You're like, you're like, I like. I think, I think it came out good. Anyways, I don't know if y'all heard, but... I don't know when y'all all joined. So, this eye is Zulu. Her right there. This girl, Zulu, from Juvia's Place. That is this eye. And then this eye is the 
Morphe. Can't see the eye. Once it loads. It's the Morphe 35B palette. Oh my god, what am I doing? So I used both of these palettes. This, uh, this one for this eye and then this one for this eye. And I got these looks. This look. It's really one look. It's pretty much the same look. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for joining my live. I just wanted to hang out, show y'all my look. I like it. I'm pretty proud of it. I'm okay with how it turned out. I'm gonna post some pictures so that we all can see it better with better quality, hopefully. Um, yeah. I'm gonna take off these ears and see if my bangs still wanna work. No. <laughs> my bangs are like, no, you put us back. <laughs> we don't wanna be around you, basically. Ah, that's okay. I'll fix them later. Anyways, thank you again so much for joining. All right, y'all have a good weekend. I will see y'all later, maybe, hopefully. Deuces. Got yeah, my nails did, and I really like them. They're really pretty. Okay, thank y'all again. Awesome, great job. Nice. Good night, chick. Good night. Bye.